Hello, welcome back to Grand Sushi Live. Today I will be demonstrating a couple of things using my iPad, my iPhone, and also Blender. So basically, um, I end up with something like this. This is the, the final result. Uh, this is actually a facial scan animations that I captured last night. And as a result, if you render this out using Eevee, we have this uh, kind of like mask made of glass with some painting on, on it. All right, so I'm using an app called Blender AR Truck by CG Tinker. This is actually really similar to Face uh, Face Cap app um, in, that I use in the past, um, but the difference is that it's actually capturing the, the base mesh of the person's face. Um, with face with a Face Cap app, uh, you actually capture the blend shapes. But with this one, it does two things. You can do like a space camera tracking and also you can uh, do the facial animation capture. So this is, I think this is the face of the developer that's being captured. You can watch the video. So here, I, I wanna show you, okay, we have Procreate. This is Procreate from my iPad. And I did a face painting. This is for Brutal Mask, that artwork that I did. Uh, not long ago and this one is my iPhone showing my face I'm using another app called Recall 3D because it's, it's actually capturing my real face uh, it scans my face this one capturing the blend shape and the base mesh and this is the result if I turn off everything including the including the shader and texture so this is what it's captured and this is not my face, this is my, my partner's face. Uh, but you can do a lot of cool things with this, like turning this into like a face glass. I can try actually doing a quick capture now. Um, as a result, we can have like a, yeah, this is, now this one is using my face. I can do a capture very quickly. Uh, so this is my iPad. I can let me try. If I minimize this, I'm gonna cover the iPad. I'm gonna switch to the other app for Blender AR tracking, and I'm gonna try to record my face. And uh, um, I will show you the difference. Actually, it's good. Yeah, see, I can see it. So the face is being tracked, so I can do like a quick scanning. Okay, so this is a quick test recording of my facial animations. And I can stop it. And I will preview my recording. Okay, now we have my face captured. So I can now send this to my computer. It's zipping the files. It's gonna take a while. Oops, okay. Cool, oops, all right. So this is kind of like, <clears throat> like a one way you can kind of transfer your facial animation data um, if you want to do like a virtual DJ or like a creating an avatar for your future presentation. Okay, Blender AR Track. Actually, in order to bring it into Blender, you need to have the add-on. So you download the add-on from Gumroad. Once you install it, I'm using Blender 2.93 file preference. Let's check it out. Blender Air Track. Yeah, Blender Air Track by CG Tinker. Once it's installed, you have this new tab. So you can install the animated empties of camera tracking or face mesh in this case. I'm gonna import the data, point cloud and reference point. I'm gonna go to download. Let's check this zip. Today, 10 a.m. Okay, accept. Import the data and wait a few seconds. 
should be working correctly. It does take a while with this app. Let's wait. The with the result resulting mesh you can later on you can like instance the like a different mesh on top of it so let me quickly close everything here i'm opening another blender this one there's another test that i did earlier using different method to instance random objects so i'm randomizing the positions and a bunch of things I can also randomize the scale. Okay, let me come back to this. Okay, right. So we have this face that I recorded just now. So with this face, you can see this is around five. Five, five, six, and yeah, this face already have UV, and the UV is matching the one on the Procreate. So if I create a shader very quickly, append. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna append the shader from the other file. Okay. Okay, where's the file? Append desktop. Oh, I cannot see. Okay, interesting. Let's save this first. File save as. And I will create a shader. image gonna grab the, the brutal mask okay so this is what we get so far if you wanted to make it like kind of invisible and like making it a little bit fancier you can enable things like transparency set the blend mode into alpha blend and alpha goes into alpha now we have transparency just like on the procreate you can see here with this object the this one doesn't have shape keys blend shapes but these have like a modifier i believe yeah copy location copy rotation so we have the face the head motion is being recorded and you can apply that into your character the facial blend shapes also it's there if you want you can get you can unparent this clear parent and you just have the just the face without head orientations just the facial animations right with this facial animations so let let me quickly save i can open another blender so this this is using geometry nodes and i'm randomizing the scale and the radius and rotations for the point instancing so we have the scale control 
I can randomize uh, radius. Actually, it should be like a scale. So I'm applying like random scaling for my face. So we can, I think we can actually transfer the texture into the instance objects using vertex. This one seems to be jittering somehow. Oh, because I I captured it last night and it was a bit dark. So I could open the new one that I created just now. This. And I will append um, which one was it? This is from today. Okay, geometry nodes with a with a cube, and I can use geometry nodes. Simply assigning geometry nodes and the node three. Okay, this is from today. I will try to transfer the color from the texture, but may maybe I'm not gonna do it now but there's attribute transfer I need to kind of think so you can sample the texture from the geometry and then pass it into this guy and then transfer it into the nearest point or vertex for the point instancing so slightly tricky there but it's possible I'm just gonna use ambient occlusion here as you can see the animation is there. This was captured quite nicely. So what I, what I found with the things like face cap or Blender AR tracking, it captures your face and it's really good for dialogue. It doesn't really capture like the full details unless you do like a, another different ways, like scanning your face every 30 frame or 60 frames per second. Um, probably it's possible in the future iPhone, but for now, I think this is really good. This is really cool. And you can map this into your face on or into different character. With, with some setup, you can you can place like bones along the, the landmark of your face and then kind of transfer it into a character if you want to kind of map, map it um, with the, with the, another app that I keep mentioning, FaceCap. By Beneflag, yeah, face cap by Beneflag. This has been around for three or four years since the iPhone 10. This one also does the same thing, but it's gonna use the blend shapes. The difference with this one, of course, it captured the face mesh that I keep mentioning. The base mesh is the one that we are using here. Yeah, this base mesh. I, oh yeah, by the way, I need to scale it. In this case, I'm scaling, scaling it for instancing, for instance, instancing here, so I can use the pause on this maybe to scatter the instance. So I can have this kind of bricked. I think it's pretty cool. It's a uh, something that's similar to the effects in the in the mummy in the mummy movie mummy movie oops what is the movie the mummy movie head the one with the sands yeah you can create this kind of effects sands on the face yeah so very powerful tools and it's actually available on iOS and Andro Android, I believe, with this app. 
it's uh, more accurate on the iPhone but you can use Android as well to capture the facial base mesh and then you can just use it with uh, another app like for this brutal mask uh, yeah this one is from procreate you can actually move back and forth between blender and procreate in blender you can actually paint it in 3d for real like with procreate you're kind of painting in 2d but if you're in blender you can paint uh, in 3d let's see is it painting no oh, wait So in, in Procreate you, you paint it this way and then but in in here this is Blender 2.93 okay maybe I should I should use the the other one so if I get rid of the geometry nodes here so back to this I can go to texture painting And just paint on it that's weird um, maybe because the of the UV is in a different spot super noisy outside gonna move it up yeah I think we need the UV somehow It's kind of working. Oh, because of the alpha, maybe. Oh well, I think I I, I forgot to turn on something, but. Anyway, so that's the whole setup. <laughs> You're capturing uh, using your iPhone or different smartphone and then you bring it into Blender. Maybe in the next episode, I will actually try to make something. And I, and I also want to capture the eye animations. That's something that I forgot to mention. This app doesn't capture, it captures your face, the base mesh. It doesn't capture the eye or the teeth. The teeth need to be added separately. But uh, yeah, it's really cool app to capture the base mesh of your face for your animations, for virtual character. Uh, let's see how it goes uh, in the future. Um, maybe we can create like a, some kind of performance capturing the face and also like full body animations. Right, so hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.